हेलो स्टूडेंट्स यू नो दैट वी हैव डिस्कशन अबाउट क्रॉनिक एब्डामेन आल्सो वी हैड डिस्कशन अबाउट एग्जामेशन इन मास एब्डामेन बोथ आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई हैव डिस्कस इट इज अ क्लिनिकल केस एग्जाम थियरी दे विल आस्क मेनी मेनी क्वेश्चंस एंड एप्लीकेशंस आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई सेड एब्डामेन इज अ पंडरास बॉक्स नाउ सेम थिंग ऑफ कोर्स एब्डामेन इज एब्डामेन ऑल डिजीज ऑफ कोर्स टुगेदर बट similar entity again in the abdomen one more entity is uh, what is called as acute abdomen sudden onset severe pain severe means uh, in nearly they come for admission they will ask for something do something they severe pain that is called uh, i will define it there is a definition for that so how to examine a patient coming with acute abdominal pain or acute abdominal symptoms uh, is a different entity even though finally conditions are overlapping Conditions are similar. Your initial eventual approach may be same, but initially you should be very vigilant. Sometimes you will be very active. You have to visit the patient. You may have to give critical care. You may have to do emergency surgery and so on in acute abdomen. So, so many causes uh, for acute abdomen may be perforation, peritonitis, uh, vascular ischemic uh, bowel, gangrene, and uh, bleeding within the uh, abdomen. Maybe GI, liver, whatever it is. Uh, so many conditions in females uh, ectopic uh, pregnancy ruptured uh, twisted over in test twist so many conditions are uh, there uh, which we'll discuss we want to discuss uh, presenting as a acute abdomen or pain acute pain, severe sudden pain and associated symptoms it is being called as so we'll have a brief discussion uh, uh, about what are the causes and in detail discussion about the uh, examination of the acute abdomen patient as such so what you are learning is is to taking detail examination differential diagnosis in acute abdomen so i'll just discuss what exactly meaning of the acute abdomen it is sudden severe attack of abdominal pain to such an extent that patient is in severe agony and often in shock and inevitably you have to admit such patient the severe agony actually many of the conditions causing acute abdomen may be life threatening like perforation of the intestine i already told proper clinical exam is an essential step in this patient to conclude the diagnosis and to plan the therapy it is sudden severe of a spontaneous progressive pain with worsening of the abdominal symptoms i said abdominal symptom not just pain once the pain the pain is the main chief complaint of course then afterwards of course they will have a, a omitting they will have nausea they will have hypotension they will have features of shock and so on so many things are uh, is develops later so pain and later other symptoms that's so what pain is the main 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 symptom in acute abdomen remember in 24 hours Acute abdomen is not acute abdomen. Just a dialogue. It is acute abdomen is a not a acute abdomen. Dialogue is not. It is made by a old historical surgeon. Actually, it is not acute abdomen. No, it is not acute abdomen for surgeon because it has got a very high mortality. There, you have to be very vigilant. You should do proper intervention many a times. So you should you should understand what exactly happening with the patient. So so many things are there. So it is not acute abdomen for surgeon. Remember. So what are the causes for uh, this acute abdomen? intraabdominal causes so it may be intraabdominal causes it may be pelvic causes it may be retrobital causes it may be sometimes uh, causes in the thorax like lungs pneumonia pleuris may refer down to the abdomen it may be cardiac cause mi patient may present as acute abdomen it is known known to occur and surgeons will start treating then only eventually they do ecg and they'll they will find out that it is a uh, uh, mi i had a patient present with acute abdomen for abdomen then uh, i was thinking that he was breathless uh, then some more it taken ecg it was ischemia it is mi then i referred to cardiology they did immediate angioplasty and so on so that is what exactly so it mimics so many time many many cardiac conditions uh, present as a epigastric pain acute epigastric pain remember and many time they think that it is acute gastritis and sometimes they take treatment by surgeons or gastroenterologist so missing the entire cause of cardiac uh, illness as such so cholecystitis pulpingitis diverticulitis crohn's mesenteric adenitis primary acute peritonitis all those things are the inflammation perforation of the bowel acute intestinal obstruction again so many causes are there hernia adhesions are the two very common causes uh, for uh, intestinal obstruction then malignancy intussusception uh, roundworm bolus uh, stricture tumor bands adhesion walls everything there is all the all of the causes for acute intestinal obstruction of course in detail we will discuss about intestinal obstruction later 
mesenteric vessel occlusion by thrombosis or embolism hemorrhage ruptured atrophic gestation ruptured atrophic spleen like malarial ruptured aortic aneurysm torsion twisted over and twisted twisted phenic pedicle colicky causes ureteric biliary intestinal and appendicular ureteric stone biliary stone intestinal spasm colic and appendicular spasm also can occur colic occasionally so all these things are intra abdominal causes extra abdominal causes are in the abdominal wall abdominal wall abscess melanin spreading gangrene i have discussed this one while discussing the infection rupture of abdominal muscles inferior epigastric artery tear and hematoma in the thorax lobar pneumonia diaphragmatic pleurisy pericarditis angina pectoris coronary disease retrobrachial disease causes lymphadenitis and lymphangitis ruptured aortic aneurysm acute pyelonephritis and retroperitoneal diseases of the spine spinal cord and intercostal nerves parsa tubercular spine gastric crisis of tibia dorsalis surface zoster of intercostal nerves with neuralgia other causes malaria typhoid porphyria diabetic crisis sickle cell disease purpura hemophilia etc i'll just put in the table causes of acute abdominal just for recapitulate uh, actually because if you write one classification and sufficient it is a main question many times causes enumerate some short note enumerate causes of acute abdomen intestinal again so many things are there appendicitis mesenteric adenitis mecal diverticular adenitis perforated peptic ulcer peptic ulcer means gastric ulcer and duodenal ulcer or jejunal ulcer whatever it is gastroenteritis diverticular intestinal obstruction tangloid hernia hepatobiliary hepatobiliary biliary colic cholecystitis cholangitis pancreatitis hepatitis vascular ruptured uh, aortic uh, abdominal aortic aneurysm acute mesenteric ischemia ischemic colitis urological renal colic acute urinary infection testicular torsion then present as abdomen pain unless you examine the testis uh, scrotum you will miss it acute urinary retention gynecological ectopic pregnancy ovarian cyst pathology maybe rupture hemorrhage torsion sulfingitis endometriosis and uh, middle smear uh, disease that is a mid cycle pain mid cycle pain is called a middle disease medical cause medical so many medical cause can mimic acute abdomen remember pneumonia meno myocardial infarction sickle cell crisis porphyria all those things may present as a Uh, acute abdomen even diabetic ketosis may present as acute abdomen remember so again i'll just put is abdominal hepatobiliary git vascular aortic aneurysm mesenteric ischemia cardiothoracic mi pneumonia urological stone torsion testis obstetric ruptured ectopic abdominal pregnancy abdominal pregnancy molar pregnancy gynecological ruptured ovarian cyst torsion ovary myoma torsion myoma perforated uterus and so on others porphyria diabetic ketosis that's a medical cause actually other metabolic causes and neurological causes all these things are the different causes now what is the chief complaint in acute abdomen that is a very very big chief complaint is pain 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 is the chief complaint in acute abdomen this is what you have to remember so what are the, these things it is onset you have to i'm going to discuss in detail about each aspect which is very important i'm discussing the site of it right and onset this is the duration important site at present the site may be there like appendicitis initially uh, pain will be there around umbilicus then pain shifts or migrate to the right of fossa as uh, disease progresses initially it is a uh, pain uh, in the same route it is a uh, probably referred pain and later it shifts to the right of fossa when parietal peritoneal is inflamed so duration is important short to duration usually most of the acute abdomen type of the pain Uh, so visceral pain parietal pain sudden severe pain pricking pain colic pain all those things are intermittent pain persistent pain progressive pain also on progression rapid or uh, sudden onset rapid progression gradual onset rapid progression gradual onset slow progression all those progression possible radiation referred radiation is like pancreatic acute pancreatic pain in the epigastric region uh, will be there it radiates to the back because of the inflammatory and the inflammation and irritation of the retrobrachial nerves and referred pain is uh, Uh, gallbladder pain may refer to the uh, uh, shoulder or diaphragmatic pain may refer to the shoulder or ureteric uh, 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 pain may refer to the down into the uh, uh, scrotum sometimes without sometimes without any this one so without any pain in the uh, primary site as such aggravating factors omitting uh, may relieve the um, uh, eating food may aggravate the pain in gastric ulcer and uh, empty stomach may aggravate the pain in uh, duodenal ulcer and so there are so many causes for aggravated work change of position will aggravate the uh, pain in uretic stone and uh, like that uh, in acute peritonitis any change in the position movement will increase the pain so they don't they don't move at all they they lie down still so that avoid uh, uh, increasing the pain so relieving pain rest will relieve the pain omitting may relieve the pain in gastric uh, uh, ulcer 
eating more food will relieve the pain in duodenal ulcer and so on severity of the pain pain it may be mild moderate or very severe usually they are very severe initially starts uh, mild pain and in no time it will becomes very severe and intractable or intolerable pain so in different regions we will have a different pain upper abdomen central abdomen lower abdomen now if you look at this uh, we can always uh, put it like this uh, this is the abdomen so this is upper abdomen this is central abdomen this is the lower abdomen so this is exactly three quadrant for pain i am only for pain i am other there is no division like quadrant just upper middle lower abdomen uh, it is pain is uh, usually so accordingly you can always uh, it difficult to, to say whether it is the right hypochondrium or left hypochondrium acute abdomen. They may not be able to point which region it is. Uh, unlike in chronic diseases and mass abdomen, it is very difficult for them to pinpoint because it is pain is so severe. Point to pinpoint is not possible. If they able, I mean, it is uh, it is ideal to ask them to point uh, show and where exactly it is there. Pain is here. Pain is here like that. Point test it is called as that is should be asked for. But many times they will say exact point I can't make out in the upper part, central part, or lower part. So accordingly, you have a classification: abdominal, renal, extra abdominal, in the upper abdomen, peptic ulcer, gastric ulcer, perforation. That means acute colitis, acute cholangitis, pancreatitis, early appendicitis, hepatitis, or liver abscess. Early appendicitis may present pain in the epigastric region. That's why I said in the upper abdomen. Remember, pyelonephritis, renal colic, inferior, plu inferior pleuritis, lobar pneumonia, pneumothorax, pericarditis, myocardial infection, angina. All these things are. Very important because in the upper abdomen pain, because angina, MI missing and treating like a acute abdomen is really dangerous. You may lose the patient. Now, central abdomen, early appendicitis, bowel obstruction, usually it is uh, like this. Uh, 